proteins pretty much make up everything that does something in your cell. So if something is happening in your body, there's probably a protein somewhere behind that. Polymers in the body uh, are typically thousands and thousands of units long, incredibly long. The DNA in one cell, if stretched out straight, would be a meter long. And if you took all the DNA in one human body, you could get to the sun and back several times. So just even to fit in the cell, biological polymers have to compactify a great deal. The folding of proteins is incredibly important because the shape they form or the shape they fold into has a very specific biological function. If we were to understand protein folding, it'd lead to a whole new area of protein design, where we could design proteins to combat disease in the body or outside the body. We could use them to make biofuels or break down currently unrecyclable materials. All biological polymers exist in solution. This is almost always water, but the water can contain other substances, such as uh, ions like sodium and chloride or, or salt. Some parts of the protein will like being in the solvent, and some parts of the protein won't like being in the solvent. And the bits that like being in the solvent will spread out and get as, surround themselves with as much solvent as possible. The parts of the protein that don't like being in the solvent will cluster together to avoid touching as much solvent as possible. Another thing that affects how polymers fold is their stiffness. The stiffness of a polymer is how much the chain likes to bend. You can imagine there's a situation um, of in-between stiffnesses where it's flexible enough to compact, but it's stiff enough that it still tries to maintain some shape, and you can get shapes such as donuts or oblongs forming. There's a lot of work being done on protein folding at the moment. One of the big things uh, to be solved in the future is just how proteins fold uh, so quickly and so consistently into the right shape.